What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I want to welcome you guys back to yet another game unboxing. Now it has been some time since I've actually done a game unboxing of a collector's edition because quite frankly I haven't been able to get my hands on the ones that I've wanted. Anything like um, any collector's edition I've seen I've tried to get and it just they're either sold out or they don't come to the country or whatever because I'm in Canada so we have fewer resources or fewer outlets that will sell you these versions most of the time you got to get them at EB Games which is the American or sorry the Canadian version slash Australian version of GameStop uh, same it was owned by GameStop so if you don't get it pre-ordered in time you ain't getting it and it's so difficult to pre-order collector's editions over on EB Games so it's tough I've been missing a lot and I've been trying the ones there's been ones that I've been really wanting but it is what it is so anyway we are finally back and after many, many months, like I said, I think it's been since the springtime, early summer. I honestly think the last uh, game unboxing I did was for Days Gone. It's been so long since I've added to my shelf. But anyway, we're back with yet another one. And this is for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This is the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Now, before we get into this guy right here, got my scissors just in case. I'm going to put it off to the side and we're going to deal with this. Whenever you get a uh, Ubisoft based collector's edition they have the box which contains the figure and all that and then your game stuff is right here along with the art book so it's just this like in the package it literally comes sitting on top of that like that so it's kind of dumb that it has to be uh open like that but uh it is what it is so i'm just going to go ahead and pull out these items real quick and toss this to the side okay so we have three things here to check out we've got the game disc itself with steelbook we've got a map of the region and we also have the game soundtrack, which is always nice and a nice addition to check these out. So there you go. There's the soundtrack right there. There's not much you're going to get right here. So I'm just going to showcase it right now. The soundtrack there. Uh, the map, I'm going to do my best not to totally mess this up. But we'll go ahead and give you a bit of a glimpse at what the map is. Putting it away is always the dicey spot. Now, usually these things, now this, I've had a map like this before. It actually feels like a treasure map. I can't remember the last game I had that had a map like this. But if we look, we've got a map of the entire island. And here it is here. And on the back, of course, we got the Ghost Recon Breakpoint uh, logo. It's kind of what, it's like a geothermal image kind of thing. Uh, not really a thermal, but you know what I mean. Like, I guess it's geothermal. Uh, this is kind of the, the image you see on the start menu. Uh, but yeah, you got the entire map. It is not really a helpful thing. It's more of a, just a map to kind of showcase the playing area. And it actually feels map quality. Like this thing is made of the same materials that uh, like a treasure map would be, for example. So I, I really like it when, whoa, hello. The soundtrack just took the old dirt nap. Um, when they actually make it of this material, it's kind of got a waxy material, and it's but it's bendable. I feel like you wouldn't be able to rip this. You probably could rip it, so I'm not going to try. But it just feels a little more durable. Like you could get it wet, and you wouldn't. It's not like just the traditional paper. So there you go. There's that. And then of course we've got the steel book here on the front. You've got the the logo there, and on the back it says, "We are ghosts uh, sent behind enemy lines." But it's been crossed out. It says, "You are ghosts." lost behind enemy lines on the back there. So I'm gonna open this up. Now I've already taken the disc out because it's in my PlayStation right now. Uh, I have right here the DLC for this version of the game. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, and then there's just an advertisement for uh, gear, or sorry, Ghost uh, Recon based swag. And some of it looks pretty sick. Like that hat looks awesome. I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, and there's a few things you can get here. Some of them are kind of dumb, like this t-shirt. Looks, the logo looks awesome, but the, the thing on the back, I hate it when they put really obnoxious designs on the back. If you can, I think it's the same either way. I think one's just in a different language. And then of course you have the health and safety. Not even really worth, there's no, there's no more. Remember when games were given uh, booklets, like, you know, on directions and things like that, color booklets and whatnot. And then they started phasing them out to black and white. It's cheaper, things like that. So, and then there's a, uh, artwork on the back as well. So just underneath, actually, I don't know why I did that. You can't see it. There's some artwork on the back. Pretty cool. So that's going to be about it for the extra stuff and um, the steel books. The so steel books always nice, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy <coughs> right here so you can kind of view it. And I'm going to keep these nearby as well. Now let's open this giant box that you that is the uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint Collector's Edition. Now I honestly do not know where it opens from. I've, I've for, I think it actually slides off. So. It does, bear with me. All right, so the lid is off, and you guys get a bit of a view of this statue right off the get-go. I gotta say, the smell it's emitting is quite different. It's kind of intense. Now, before we get to the statue, we have ourselves a little sliver book. Let's make sure there's nothing else down there. Yeah, we're good. Um, Operation Greenstone 
If you're familiar, if you've been watching the Let's Play, you've been playing the game yourself, you kind of understand what it is. And I don't know if these have spoilers on them. Usually it'll tell you, it says top secret. I don't know if these have spoilers on them, but they're like high profile images. These are beautiful photos, holy. These are high quality lithographs, um, each with a different image. Obviously try and give you a, a view of each one. That's my favorite, obviously. How could you not love that? Um, and obviously with the Ghost Recon Breakpoint logo on the back. Just a couple little goodies here and there. Keep this off to the side. And I think that's about it. Now it's what you really paid for. This is the these are the this is the the the, the big enchilada, if you will. On the back, God, this whatever this is is made of. It's got a terrible scent to it. Um, but I guess I, before we go into this guy, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. You've got the some backgrounds there in the wild, and then you got various things on the side, the logos, and then on the back here. Yeah, so. This you can use as a storage thing. I'm assuming you could just put it in here. So we're just gonna kind of put it down for now and I might present it afterwards. But right off the bat, oh, we got a couple of those things. Now is there, oh, there is one of these. Walker is our, is our main guy. And it's a dog tag of Walker, Cole Walker. But uh, there you go, those are his dog tags or his ghost tags, I guess. Um, and he is the main villain. You're led to believe he's the main villain. We don't know yet though if he actually is. You never know what actually is going on. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this out and take a look at it. I think this is awesome. Well, that works. <laughs> All right, so I caused some bit of carnage there. All right, so we have a couple of options here. Whoa, hello, forgot to take that out. So this statue looks absolutely amazing, holy. And we have a couple of weapons that obviously go in various hands. Uh, I'll show you the statue of the wolf, uh, the wolf on its own. It looks like he's playing the circle game. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like he's playing the circle game right in his left hand slightly. And he looks like he's pointing, but he's got his gun out. So we're going to go ahead and put this where I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure this bad boy goes in his... Maybe is this is where it goes? No, that wouldn't make sense. All right. After a bit of struggle, I managed to get everything going. So... So I had them in the wrong hands. Pistol is out here, revolver's out here, and then the rifle, he's kind of leaning it and just holding it with his left hand. That looks awesome. The detail in this is absolutely insane. And I just love the detail in the weapon as long as, as well as just his mask, his outfit, it looks absolutely awesome. So I'll give you guys a nice view of that all the way around, bam, you know what I'm saying? So I'd probably just end up standing like that, a little bit posing, got a tattoo on his uh, outer forearm there. He's also got his knife, on his front chest, his tags there. There's some bullets on the ground. Right there is where he sits. Let's go ahead and put him in his uh, background. Boom, how's that look? Let's see. It's a little dark, but you know that's what they're doing. A little bit of that. A little bit of that, there you go. How's that, look pretty cool? There's the presentation. I think it looks absolutely awesome. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is the extent of the uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, Wolves Collector's Edition, only available in the UB store. Figured I unbox this for you. And this is on the PlayStation 4. So we got all these goodies here, soundtrack, uh, map, lithographs, all those cool stuff, as well as this dog tag, and of course steelbook, and of course the piece de resistance, this beautiful Collector's Edition statue here. Uh, I think it's absolutely awesome. That bad boy is gonna make a great addition to my Collector's Edition shelf. And I really love the detail on this. This one was a little bit on the higher end for price though, I will say it's really getting quite up there for price, but it is a beautiful piece and I, I'm happy to own something like that's really, you know, this beautiful as this. In terms of the game, I'm not 100% sure how I stand on it yet. It's kind of funny how that works out, but uh, either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this game unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash dank 8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, dank 8000 Instagram, dank 8000 and Snapchat, dank 8000 If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. You want to save 10% of your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use promo code dank 8000 at checkout. Also, if you haven't checked out my Let's Play on this, it is a work in progress as of now. Be sure to go check that out. I got a link in the description as well, so go click that. It'll take you straight to the playlist so you can start watching it and make your own opinions on whether or not you think Breakpoint's worth picking up. All right, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Take care, have a great day. Hopefully I see you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist, dial Dan. Got
not damn Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us and don't need inhalers. Got to breathe them hard just like Darth Vader. Players grab your respirators. Night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play. I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do. So tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.